What's up everyone and welcome back to my crypto journal. I don't know about you guys, but I've had an absolute great week of trading. If you've kept up with the channel, you would have noticed that LXT, a coin that I made a video about around a week ago, managed to run about 100% and I managed to catch most of it. Hopefully the coins I'll be covering today will have similar results. I've got a lot of great information to share with you guys today. The coins I'm going to be presenting, I think, have a great chance of making some runs, even though most of the market might take a hit. One of these coins I also believe will also act as a hedge against Bitcoin dropping. So that means we might potentially have a chance to make some sats while BTC goes down. Just as the title states, I'll be covering Ren and Huobi token. I covered both these coins in the past and they have performed as expected. So today we're going to see what I think will happen next. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to watch till the very end because there will be a lot of valuable information in this video. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna start off with Ren. And right off the bat, let me tell you, when I look at the Ren chart, I like what I see. This looks like a bullish chart to me. The only questions I have is whether this run is over or are we gonna continue to grow and make higher highs? This chart doesn't look like most of the other altcoin charts where it's just going down like this one this one and this one instead this is more of an uptrend we have a nice chart that's going up and up but now i've got to figure out whether we have a higher move coming our way or is this it so i've worked on this chart a lot and let me show you what i've got the last time i covered this coin we were around this area and i did expect it to come down here bought a little bit but we can see that we managed to break the trend line which spooked me a little bit but after that we ended up going around 100% towards the upside. Now this fake break scared me a little bit. Like I said, you guys can see the trend line here kind of broke through and that's what I consider a fake out, but no worries. I think we have some exciting price action ahead of us if what I'm about to show you does end up happening. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys would have seen that I tweeted this head and shoulders formation out on my Twitter and I thought that the probability of us going lower was greater than us going up. And as we can see today, we ended up going down around 30% until we bounced. And again, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you, you guys would have seen my post that I expected Brent to bounce around 20 to 30% within the next couple of days. And not 24 hours later, we get this 26% bounce. I did end up selling most of my rent position around this area because I do believe that we are going to be going lower and I'll tell you why in a second. However, as we can see right now, we're managing to push up a little bit and, and it's not impossible for us to right now break out of this pattern and make higher highs, which is why I kept a small amount of rent just in case so I don't feel that FOMO. But let's get back to the reason why I think we're going lower. Well, if you guys look at the past, you guys can see this little triangle formation and you guys are probably wondering, what does the past have to do with what we're doing now? Well, let me show you. Over here, we have a nice little structure and to the naked eye, this doesn't look like much. However, if we look closer, we can see that there's kind of an ABC structure. You guys see the ABC structure right there? Well, guess what's playing out here or what I think is playing out here? Well, we have an A, possible B, possible C. Now, the reason I thought we'd have a 30% bounce is because of this ABC structure. And because it happened, confirms my belief that this might possibly be what's playing out. That, that increases the probability that we're going to get a C structure. However, there are things to keep in mind because it's also possible that this A, B, and we have the C already playing out. This might be the C wave that already played out, meaning this might break out and potentially take us to our new highs. But I don't think that that's likely simply because this ABC over here really plays into the pattern. And not only that, but it also plays into this trend line. However, it's really important to also keep in mind that even if we do manage to come down here, we don't necessarily have to turn around here. We could just break through this wedge to the downside and we can even break the trend line and head to the downside. So even though what I'm showing you right now is playing out, it's not confirmed that we're going to the upside just because of what I'm showing you. This could be the end of the whole move. We do have a head and shoulders, so that does signify that the move is over. But I'm going to play this chart as the information is given to me. So if we break below this trend line significantly, I consider that this trade is over and won't work, which is why it's really important for me to catch a good entry. Now, at the time, this was a great entry for me because of what I saw. But after making this 30% move in a matter of 24 hours and making 30%, that was an easy signal for me to kind of take my profits and be happy with what I got. Even if this went higher, I still hold a small amount. Now, I have some other information that I'm going to show you guys that reinforces my belief that we're actually going to go higher rather than lower. But it's also really important to keep in mind that if Bitcoin ends up taking a huge hit, it's going to affect the rest of the market, no matter if Ren is bullish or not. So let me show you this other chart that really backs up what I'm seeing with Ren. All right, on the right, we have the LXT chart that I mentioned at the start of this video. We managed to make a 70% move on LXT, an amazing run, made a lot of profit with it. Now, how does this compare with Ren? Well, if you notice the chart on the right, Ren 
and LXT have very similar structures. You guys see this triangle on the left-hand side? You guys see this downward triangle on the left-hand side? What happened after it broke its triangle? Well, almost the same thing that happened with the Ren. We managed to make a big, nice run towards the upside. And LXT seems to be ahead of Ren. You guys can see the wedge played out here. And after the wedge kind of took place, we ended up making almost 124% move. Is that possible with Ren? Well, yes and no. While I think Ren has a good possibility of running, I don't think it has the possibility of running as high as LXT because LXT was a smaller cap coin. It's ranked around 200. Last I checked, Ren was around 90. So while Ren might not run around 124%, I still think there's a good opportunity here. We've still got some space for us to play out this wedge pattern and break out of it. And then I have to figure out how high are we going to go. Well, personally with me, my first target is really simple. It's going to be this yellow line you guys see over here. And that would be around 75%, something conservative, something safe. Of course, I'll keep some on in case we go higher, but 76% is profits I'm going to be happy with. I'm not looking to hold this for years because the market is so volatile that those profits can be wiped out in a matter of days. Some of you have already probably been through that because of how big the hodler community is. So that's that. But if we manage to make it there and I do see signs that this move is not over with, then make sure to follow me on Twitter and I will update this position as time goes on. So I'm going to keep this short because I still have Huobi token to cover and that's the really interesting coin. That's going to be my BTC hedge. And let's switch over to the Huobi chart so I can explain why. Now some of you might be curious, why would I consider Huobi token to be a Bitcoin hedge? Now in my last video I considered Huobi token to be the next Binance coin, meaning it's probably going to make a big run towards the upside. How big? Not really clear right now, but I do have an idea of how high we could go. You guys can see where my arrow is pointing towards this 3.618 line. That's going to be my target that would be around at 35% from where we're at right now. Reason being is you guys can see this big pattern playing out over here. Now, this is an asymmetrical triangle. I think I can't really remember the name, but that's not important. What's important is the structure. You guys can see this structure we're playing out. It seems to be following it to a T. Not only that, but I also have confirmation from my FIB retracements you guys can see over here. Let me just change the color so you guys can get a better idea. Over here, the first time we ran up and ran down, we ran back to the 786 Fibonacci, right? You guys see that? Okay. Well, over here we have the same pattern. And we also have a 786. Where do you guys think we're going to run to? And how does this play in with the pattern? When you guys start to see multiple confirmations, it increases the probability that we're probably going to go there. You guys see how the 786 played in with this downward wedge? Well, this 786 also happens to play with this downward wedge. Now, the timing isn't important, and this move does not have to work. But currently, I am seeing some interesting price action coming from Hobi, simply because it hasn't done anything that's unexpected. You know, we're currently having a sell-off, but that makes perfect sense. If you guys stick around till the end, it'll make perfect sense to you too. But right away on the Hobi chart, we can see that this point over here is a resistance point for Hobi in general. Every time we ran up to this side, what happened? Sell-off towards this area. Even here, toward when we were going down, we can see hit this area, sold off. Now. This area right here to me seems to be support. We can even see this ascending triangle pattern gives us support. So I'd say it's safe to say that we're probably heading towards this side and it's only a 3% drop until we get there. Now I was wondering as to why we were dropping. And when I began to do a little bit more research, I found that there was some kind of relationship between Bitcoin and Huobi. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So on the left, we have Huobi. On the right, we have Bitcoin. Let's run throughout the price action of Huobi and Bitcoin together so we can see the relationship these two have. All right, so February 22nd, who will be managed to run up around 135%. What did Bitcoin do when Huobi made that run? Well, let's see. Huobi managed to run that when Bitcoin was around the 4,000 area, when it had reached almost its all-time low for the year. Okay, so that tells me when Bitcoin was weak, Huobi was strong. What happened when Bitcoin started to be bullish? All right, so follow my cursor here with me. When Bitcoin went bullish, Huobi token continued to decline. We got to the point where when we reached this point of our high, what did Huobi start to do? Huobi began to turn around slowly. As we come down, we can see Huobi making its move towards the upside. We went up, Huobi went down. We went down with Bitcoin and Huobi began its run to the upside. And today, Bitcoin is managing to run up. But Huobi is making its move to the downside. Now, this gives me some kind of idea of what might be coming to Bitcoin in the next couple of weeks. If Huobi is gonna run towards the upside, what do you guys think is gonna happen with Bitcoin's price for that to happen? Well, I think it's pretty clear around this point. And remember, nothing is guaranteed. 
especially in the crypto markets. This relationship can break down. The relationship can change. Bitcoin can start doing something completely different and Huobi could just run towards the downside. But we have to work with what we've got. And what we've got right now is we've got support coming up on Huobi and Bitcoin is under the blue moving average. Volume is declining for Bitcoin. And I've been pretty bearish on Bitcoin and I'm expecting it to drop in the coming weeks. So if that happens, I'm looking to pick up some more Huobi so that when Bitcoin drops, I can increase my SAT value and still make money even though Bitcoin is going down. If you guys enjoyed this video and found some value in this video, make sure to show me some love by dropping some likes. It really helps me out. And if you guys don't want to miss another one of my videos, make sure to subscribe. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays. It'll be interesting to see whether what I've showed you today plays out in the future. And I'll be updating that on Twitter and possibly making a future video if anything big changes in the charts. But as for right now, that's all I've got to show you guys today. As usual, stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.